All right, y'all. One last time down to the Southern Lumps off Ocean City, Maryland for some inshore tuna chunking. There you can see it's 10 of 5. Probably have about 20 more miles to go. Team, all that clutter you see on the radar, that's all thunderstorms that are following us on our way out. So um, they're chasing me. But uh, as always, I'm super excited. Uh, just ready for another beautiful day of New Jersey tuna fishing. All right, y'all, right into the action. We got Zach hooked up, but no problem, we're pretty close to that boat there. So I'm gonna have to figure something out here. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, that'll all right, y'all, quick update. Uh, it's been a rough trip. It's 9.30. Just, uh, we had one pull right away, broke them off. Um, a lot of boats at that first spot. As always, we made our way on our own, and it looks good out here. We're a little further east. Chick birds everywhere, so see if we can't get some bites here. All right, y'all, that's why I like getting away from the fleet. Uh, Zachy did a great job, hooked that fish up, almost got spooled. He's still got the fish on, but we're tangled up to that boat out there. So um, I think they think they have a fish, but they... <laughs> They're tangled with our line, so uh, if they don't realize it and cut their line, we got no chance. I mean, he's literally like backing up his boat now. I don't really know what he's doing, so I don't know. We don't have much hope here, but he's like doing a good job. No, no, it's good. Whatever. We got it. We're still All right, guys, so I just dropped this sardine down. It's around 1230. It's been really slow. Uh, I really want this rod out of my hands, but we'll, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Bro, we got a little problem. What? We got a shark right off our port. <laughs> Get here, shark. Stay away from my tuna. <laughs> All right, I gotta make a move here soon. Come on, baby, spin this way. Get away from that bow. Yeah, coming at you. Come Ready? Got it, Zach. Go ahead, Zach. I'll meet you around the other side. Do see, do we go? And do see, do we go on the light gear? Got him. Do see do we go on the light gear? Oh, this is so fun, dude. I don't feel any rubbing. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side. We're good. Knock on wood. We feel okay. Let's see. Hold on. He's kind of going. Let me stay right here for a sec. Damn, he's mean, dude. Jeez. He's in the back. All right, you ready? Coming back. Hold on. He's coming towards, he's coming towards me. All right, he just straightened out. Hold on, he's coming back up this way now. Oh, he's up top, he's up top. There he is. Woo! He just made another run, too. Watch that out, rigger boy. Good, Zacharis? Yeah, yeah. Hand it to Mikey. Hand it to Mikey. Hand it to Mikey. Hand it to, Mikey. Hand it to Chrissy. Chrissy got it. Yeah, well, good job, boys. Come on, stay back here, fish. Come on, turn. Damn you. Come on. Come on, let's stay back here. Come on, let's stay back here, fish. Come on. Come on, let's stay back here. Yeah, real, 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 real. Go that way, fish. All right, y'all, this is probably about 15, 20 minutes in. I think we'd actually gone up and over the anchor, um, you know, from the front to the back of the boat, I think about three to four times. Um, but I'm still going strong here. Um, I've been surfing a bunch. I'm in a lot better shape than before. Um, and I even told Zach, I said, this thing's tail wrapped. So uh, he's going to come in backwards. Nope. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah he's right I here. Yeah, you ready? Oh, he's tail ripped. I told you. I told what I said. I know my fucking fish. Uh, oh, dude, he's big. Yeah. Uh, don't go. let him get on tail ripped. Yeah, just go that way. I got you. I got you. Thank you, baby. There. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. It's okay. He's I won't, I won't, he won't grade up. What did I say? Don't, don't let him get on tail wrapped. <laughs> Zachy. I hit him right in the head. What, what happened there? I hit him in the head and he I woke up and wiggled out. Fish. I hope you got that old footage. I hope you do too. It was a good oh. hit. The learning experience. I hit him. Head right there. I'm sorry. I hit him right in the head. What was that? <laughs> I told oh. you. I wasn't ready for my shot. Oh, oh exactly. Oh my god, he's fucking running. Yeah, I had his head right there on a platter. Dude, I hit it. We'll have to review the footage. <laughs> I don't see a fish flopping on the deck here. You know, you pulled out of it. 
All right, so I probably had tail roped them halfway through that first encounter. Um, typically, once you get them tail roped like that, you can kind of bring them in backwards. And it's, it's in Zach's defense, it's tricky gaffing them when they come in backwards. I've done it before, and um, one big bluefin, and I, I missed them. I, I hit them right away again, but it's hard. It's not the way that you're used to doing it. Uh, but then this thing proceeded to wake up and kick my butt for the next hour. We went up and around the bow probably 15, 20 more times. Um, I was cursing Zach under my breath because at that point I was finally tired. You son of a bitch, he is gone. <laughs> What's that? He is turning again. Oh. That a good run, huh? Yeah. It's stop, man. Then what happened? I'm not too sure. He touched them with it. He was trying to caress them with it. I don't know. A PA Dave, you know, knock on the head. I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, no, that was a mediocre shot. Get over that line. Get Pretty neat team there's something about these inshore fish that really lets you know the pure power of these animals um, I mean when you loin these things out the yield on a 70 pound fish is probably I don't know 70 percent 75 percent they're just one big muscle and uh, they're built for speed they're built for power and when you're tied into a minimum with 30 or 40 pound you know fluorocarbon leader you really get a chance to feel their brute strength it's really really cool um, it can be frustrating after an hour and a half, but you know, it, it's just so fun. It's addicting. It's why I come back for it more and more and spend thousands upon thousands of dollars and not care about it. I'm going to take this camera. All right, Reaper team, that's like over an hour and a half, I think 10 things above Touch that line to above the bell. Above. I can't even lift them up, I'm so tired. That was an hour and a half. We got them, baby. That's a butterball. That's a triple rex kind of fish. All right, let's get seven more. Whew. All right, y'all, I just took a, a nice jump into the cool Atlantic. That felt great. That was a fight and a half, guys. I haven't fought one like that in a long time. I can't lie, that fish kicked my butt. Uh, so hopefully they're turning on here. Uh, the weather, knock on wood, get getting nicer. He's actually hooked up right behind us. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't, you know, bump it up here. Right now we're one for three. So I think it's going to turn on here this afternoon. So let's, let's hope here, baby. Sorry we didn't get you the gas shot. That was just kind of survival mode there. But Zach, you did a great job on the second one. Hit him right in the head. And uh, we got him. Big fish, probably 70 pounds. All right, guys, so it's around 3.30. We got Jordan on. I literally went to pull the anchor. I went forward just to take some slack out. And just like that, I, I had a spot just kind of dangling way out in the chump slick. It got bit. So we're tight. They're up there. I don't know if you can see them somewhere up there. So I'm going to go up. Now we can kind of use the boat to, uh, you know, do a little something here to help us. All right, guys. Yeah, so I knew I kind of had to do something different there. We were anchored for a little while with nothing. So, so strange. Nothing. I stopped stealthiness. We pulled up the anchor. I didn't even know we had one floating out and got bit. So let's see if we can kill them. Got a lot of boats still anchored, and a lot of boats drifting. So it's gonna be, we got them on 30. So it's gonna be tough, but we'll do the best we can. Get around these boats, I think, you know? It's kind of nice, keep, try and keep them guessing, you know, maybe. We got this guy to contend with here, this blue boat. Guys, it's tough when you when you try and you know spin the boat and maneuver on 30 pound gear. It's not like you're spinning the boat when you're trolling. 
I mean that I can boom boom you know with this it's a little a little more finesse to it you know it's a light spin all right guys so this is my friend Jordan I worked with him for quite some time um, he's such a positive young man he's a, a joy to be around you'll rarely see him without a smile on his face he just God bless him got done his first year of medical school so wish him luck he's gonna end up being a great doctor someday um, guys he, he did great on this fish he just stayed calm stayed patient uh, he had a rough start to the day. He, he got a little mal de mar. He was sick. Um, it's tough when you're not used to being out there all the time. You know, it was nasty in the morning. It was foggy. It was overcast. And uh, sometimes that makes it a little bit harder. We gave him a scopolamine patch. Um, he took a nap. He woke up like a new man. He was revived. And uh, he did a great job on the rod here. All right, guys. George's doing a great job. Uh, I'm kind of jockeying around with the boats. Uh, just kind of you know back and down every now and then just this oh look at him up top look at him up top baby that was cool that was cool look at him making the wake look at that wake Woo! look at that wake he's making oh that's so cool Jordan, did you see him at all up top yeah that was cool talk to me zach That the idea is when he gets close to the boat, like right at the side, the gaff hook goes in the tuna, and you lift up, and he and he goes over the gunnel, and then we cut him open and we eat him. Give him a shot. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm not just not, just a, a little overview. Like that? <laughs> yeah, this boy, for sure. You're doing great, Jordan. You're doing awesome, man. You're doing unbelievable, baby. Really pretty. Whoa, oh my god, what yes. the fuck was that? What was that? That was awesome. I never seen one do that. <laughs> you caught it, Zach. Yeah. yeah, I want to see one jump. Oh, this is the one. So cool, guys. I've never seen one air out like that. He was jumping. It was a marlin jump. All these years, hundreds upon hundreds of tuna. I never seen one actually breach like that. Really cool. About 30 feet down. Still 30 feet? Yep. What the yeah. heck am I been doing? Uh, I might spin the grid. Okay. Just talk to me, all right? Yep. I can't, when he gets that super good angle up there, I can't see. All right, so right about here, this fish, you know, takes a dive under the boat. Um, you know, we didn't want to steal Jordan's glory, but, you know, on 30 pound, you, you can't make many mistakes here or you'll lose your fish. So, um, Zach didn't mean to steal, you know, Jordan's glory, but he also didn't want to see him lose his fish oh, after right there, right there. that battle. So, um, you know, Zach and I have done this so many times. Um, again, we hate taking the rod out of someone's hand, but we also don't want to see you, you know, lose your fish. So, um, the fish just kind of came over here. He's like, yo, Chris, gaff. And uh, here we go. Well, I'm trying to take your glory. You're good, man. Yeah, we didn't say anything. I was worried about the same thing. I saw the pump of blood. He's got a good job, dude. Jordan, you did great, man. Good job, brother. Yeah. JT peeps. Look at those guns, baby. That's a good first fit. As always there, Zach, you know, we bleed these fish when we can. We gut them, and uh, we pack them on ice, baby. All right, first tuna. You got to take a bite of the heart. try and give a teaching point of every trip. This morning I got kind of in my own head a little bit. Um, 
it was rough, it was nasty, it was foggy, there was boats everywhere. You know, Jack hooked up right away, we ran into the guy's anchor line, and then we were drifting along, somebody got right in front of us, and we they hooked all our baits, or we hooked all their baits, no one's falling, whatever. Um, and I was like, screw this, I'm out of here, because I never like fishing in a fleet. But sometimes, honestly, you know, the teaching point today, sometimes you gotta be where the fish are, right? And uh, we ran east, it looked beautiful, chick birds, slicks, smelled good, no fish. Come back here, we don't see sun, tons of sign of life, and there's fish here, so. Sometimes you gotta go where the fish are, unfortunately. But, I don't know, we'll see. It's 10 after five, we're gonna do another drift or two here, maybe, or fish till dark, whatever these guys wanna do. I'll stay out here till like, somebody wrenches my arm and brings me home, so. We shall see you. Yep. late hoping for an evening bite it just never happened guys but look the weather you know turned out beautiful uh, we stayed at the back of the boat hoping for our um, again our, our sunset bite uh, but we shared stories we shared laughs we cleaned up the cockpit we all had a sandwich and uh, just no complaints look how beautiful all right team 20 after 7 I hope you enjoyed that arrow footage hope it comes out uh, slow trip uh, we worked hard it's 20 after 7 I mean ugh, long day two for four uh, but we got Jordan's first one that's really cool uh, again in retrospect I shouldn't have left this morning but I always like to find my own way um, I don't know we'll see you guys it might be time to maybe do some tile fishing sword fishing mix it up a little bit we'll see but as always hit that like button subscribe Ding that silly bell, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. I love this, it's so fun. I got no complaints. I'll see you. All right, y'all, we flew home in around 24 to 26 knots. Beautiful, flat, calm ocean, finally. We got a chance to enjoy one of the most beautiful sunsets we had seen in a while. Um, you know, it was great to get Jordan out there. It's not all the time that you get a chance to see something like this. I'm, I'm spoiled. I do it all the time. Um, but, you know, there you go. There's Mother Nature in all her beauty. Unbelievable.